December the 7th of 2020, um, I'm about to provide you with more proofs in respect to MK Ultra. These are the audio recordings I am talking about. These audio recordings go back to this Saturday, which was December the 5th, 2020. And they are concerning a company right here. It's called Walter. Uh, made in Slovenia, it says right here. I'm going to say these are furnaces, boilers, just used to heat the house, uh, heating systems if you like. This is what the name of the company is. Um, the name of the company. This is what uh, they present now as a product made in Slovenia, their, their own product. Very, very unfortunately, very, very unfortunately, this issue will also touch sensitive for the company owner issues. This man right here, um, they even tried to remind me. They created some kind of funny, whatever you want this here. Uh, whoever did this stuff and posted this news here so that I would see and think about, don't even think about and this and that. Russia number one, this is a superpower. Uh, this isn't about the Russia, this got nothing to do with the Russia. This got to do with Vladimir Putin. It's got to do with Vladimir Putin and it's got to do with another individual that owner of this company trembles, fears from. This is the man right here that you see, this is Alexander Vucic. This is a Serbian president, now president, and I'm sure you know what the, who Vladimir Putin is. These are the two people who along Trump <laughs> would visit not only this company but had much to do with this case. And nothing positive, I'm gonna say. A lot of problems, yes. Positive stuff, not. No, no solutions, anything like this, but a lot, a lot of problems. When I say problems, the worst, these people would come up that you could always count on when you were around them, uh, is just you could count on a lice you would be told about. Whoever would try to help you out from their atmosphere, uh, these boys, these politicians would just overcome one and instruct a little different guiding uh, get control gain traction and then based on their BS they got in their head for the day present you with whatever they wanted to add to whatever to screw the whole thing up nothing good really I don't really don't have anything to, good to say I don't see no Serbia and I don't see no Russia in either of these two guys here they're just a politicians and that's all there is to it and they're bad politicians they're bad people they're people thieves thugs I'm gonna talk about that stuff I it's a stuff that I shouldn't talk and this and that, but look, um, this is the case, this is the MK Ultra case, and I'm to prove this case beyond any doubts. This is the video for government uh, organizations, United Nations, for government institutions. Finally, this is a video for the law enforcement, whenever they're gonna be willing to assume, I guess, their responsibilities and duties as law dictates them, their job titles dictate them if ever. It goes like this. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'll just go ahead and I'll resort myself to the audio recording. I am gonna translate this to you, the whole audio recording. Once I'm gonna translate to you this audio recording, then I'm gonna stress a whole bunch of other issues, if you like. Now let's go. Okay, the man you're about to hear is individual from Bosnia and Herzegovina. This is actually a real Bosnian man. He, how can I say, is a real Bosniak. Uh, he's a Muslim. He didn't spoke to me about any of that stuff. Uh, the video is going to concern other issues. This is a dude's company that opened after uh, Balherko uh, opened his company. Um, talking about the Valher. Uh, these are furnaces and stuff. This happens sometimes. Well, actually, to be completely, completely technical, like to be like totally, 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 totally technical, right? In year 96, 
95-96 The father of uh, Thomas Balher who inherited this business from his father was out of the business for about already I think two years something like this he finished the company and I think the company was temporary on hold it was something like this okay maybe this information is gonna shock even his own child Thomas Balher maybe I get him to this point so I'm talking about year 95 so that means in year 94 or something like this his own father was uh, exhausted um, this, this is uh, a pensioner I see an older man that did his stuff and uh, pretty much he was done with it but it was his son he was the one he wanted to take off from here alright so this is one credit I'm gonna take immediately for this yeah, this is already a huge one no, this is already huge stuff that I stated right here I'm gonna go step by step and go about it now this man here that you're about to hear um, from Bosnia and Herzegovina he is from this place here now you have a Banja Luka he's gonna mention and then you have this city here Tamiabor okay now if on a bigger scale this is basically what that looks like right and this is Novomesto right here this is where I am from and very close by here is Melania Trump too just few kilometers down the road basically about 20 kilometers from here so this is a really good one this is about Donald Trump Vladimir Putin and then you have here Serbian president also Vucic um, it's about the situation that well whatever you want to say inherited right after the civil war in Yugoslavia which left the country broken apart by several different states as you see here, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, Montenegro, Macedonia, Serbia, and Kosovo also got away. So this is what this is. So this, this should be quite a decent one. So let's go on. The man is a worker who got job at Valher. Uh, officially, he's going to say he's new. He's two years ago he got a job, this and that, but this is not true. Uh, the guy already was in Slovenia <coughs> already in 2008. He already was in Slovenia in 2008. I was brought from the United States of America. I don't know how they got me. They brought me from the U.S. Straight in our house right here in Novo Mesto. And my father was going to go about and make installation of this cattle, this uh, boiler, if you like, in our house. I have no idea what exactly happened. It was blue. It was this thing was blue. It was a big ass thing, whatever that was. I, uh, but it was not the same thing. Definitely not. I think it had something to do with a model change, something like this. And they decided they're gonna postpone. I was brought in the house, drugged up under MK Ultra. And at that opportunity, it was this man here, already from Bosnia. That means that he would have a job in Bosnia, but at the same time, seasonally, he would do the job in Slovenia, he would assist. That means winter time, whenever it was like busy months and so on, he would be here. Officially, however, he would never be here. So, this is already step number two, quite interesting one to memorize. Um, this stuff here, I stated right now, did not make me happy. A little earlier, when eventually I reminded myself of this stuff, this is a very very unpleasant very very unhappy stuff very very unhappy and also unhealthy stuff uh, to remember especially when you're talking about the family relations I'm trying to work them out I'm trying to do my best you know but the past is hunting I'm gonna be straight ahead about this uh, why unhappy unhealthy uh, you can imagine me in 2012 when they threw me inside of the mental hospital in psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana Polje and brought me out of this hospital to see installation of this furnace drugged up again watching basically the furnace coming back inside of the house then released out of the mental hospital returned back no longer dropped up but in a thrown into the real situation right in front of this furnace basically seeing this installation 
actually this time installed. So step number one, brought in, taken out in 2009, 2008, 2009. Step number two, saw the installation of the furnace in 2012 when brought from the mental hospital. Twice basically drugged up, watch this shit. Step number three, seeing it when you release from the mental hospital. This is as sick as you get shit, excuse me. Stuff for which I have just stated right now, Zoran Muja personally, that was a, my psychiatrist in Ljubljana, apologized to me during MK Ultra. He deemed this stuff to be very inappropriate. Uh, they apologized, they regret it, but I had it for a really, really bad course because of a lot of stuff and it had become nasty uh, to psychiatric stuff in Ljubljana hospital alone. Sometimes in 2010, uh, I, I started to abuse uh, Muja, Zoran Muja alone. I started to abuse other psychiatric stuff who was involved, which was involved in MK Ultra, and they were trying to help here and there with the stuff, uh, inserting in people, other people that would help me out. Uh, it, a major disagreement broke out between me and having wanting to have to do absolutely anything with Ljubljana psychiatric stuff. Oh uh, look, it's not that I'm complaining about Zoran Muja here under any circumstances or somebody else over there at the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana. Fact of the matter is, uh, seeing the whole thing from a different picture, that he and others were literally compelled into bad stuff by the politicians. They don't actually, I don't see them responsible for anything bad really that happened. I don't. They are also just a human beings like everybody else now. Um, the fact of the matter is that if uh, Mudra, uh, who obligated himself, he really committed himself, he made a commitment to help me out. He took me all the way to Belgrade in his own car. This guy. He tried to help as much as possible. I got other videos coming about him too. Um, if he wouldn't brought me in 2009 here, if he wouldn't brought me here in 2012 and this and that, I wouldn't be even talking to you about any of this stuff now. I mean, I would because he wasn't there in Pernyavo or, or maybe he was too. I don't remember him. I don't recall him being there. He was in a lot of locations, but he couldn't travel everywhere. He, he got to know the world through this case. Uh, but people and so on. But the, the fact of the matter, I really don't, I really can't complain about him. About whatever happened over there when I was... Um, this is the stuff that politicians cooked. Zoran Muja was not the one. Zoran Muja was not even my psychiatrist. My, my buddies over there in psychiatry, I can say now, they're buddies. Um, they did not even they did not even go after me. It was not something that they would be, uh, let's go and we're gonna F this guy because he is uh, ta, 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 ta. bullshit. These people believe I'm actually a good person in many ways. They sacrificed, they committed, they obligated themselves to help me out. But the political stuff that went on drove me, boy, insane. And one thing led to another, then things started to go more and more like this sideways no. um anyhow let's go to the audio recording and let's see what we get out of it ah uh, mom is just asking about the bad shit i watched the day earlier therefore on friday december the fourth um I, I told her it's in a bathtub i'm going downstairs at this point to meet the serviceman who came to our house in Nova Mesto from from Maribor, from this place here, right? Hello, hi, how are you? So you are you are the same guy uh, who was here in year 2012, that the man who installed furnace, cattle, boiler here this furnace boiler here right am I correct 
No, 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 no. No, 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 I was not the one. No, you were not? Ah, this, it's basically like this. Ain't that nothing to me, new answers like that. Uh, I got used to it, I got many of this. Uh, the only thing I will do at this point in time, I'll find a way around and uh, get the best solution to that. So, watch me when I work my way around. I already did point at you one thing already that's quite mind-blowing, right? About the father, about his retirement. Year 95, 94, 95, right? That's already a big one. About the father, and you got to admit, this is a memory. Memory in half. Um, he did. That's exactly what happened. He retired, and he briefly, briefly, briefly closed the company name. He briefly closed the company down for about maybe six months, one year, something like this. 100%. They threatened me something later on that they fixed that issue with, I don't know, with the local government official, whatever, that they erased that from the evidence that it was closed down and they made it like the end of it was closed down. Bullshit. His daddy in here, daddy of Thomas Valher. Um, retired sometimes in 1996, 1997, but he continued to work in the old shop. He would come to Sun, when Sun continued, uh, reopened the company, continued with the work, uh, he would still come inside of this workshop and he would help his son. He would work there entire days, he would continue to work. just. Maybe even more than before or something like that. He went out of the business and son started the business. Right? That's quite an impressive one. His son started the business in 96, I think. Continued. O reopened basically the company. Oh, so you're new, I said. He says, yeah, yeah, I worked here for two years only. For two years only, really? He says, yeah, I, I work here for two years only. Oh, I said, so you would not know, huh? You would not know anything about this stuff. He changes quickly subject where uh, you regulate upstairs temperature, blah, blah, blah. I go upstairs, I talk to mom. I'd like to bring him a coffee downstairs at his request. Um, he felt like you want to have a coffee, so I want to treat him with a coffee. I tell mom, do you know where a gentleman is from? He is from Bosnia, most likely. Okay, how did I recognize this uh, gentleman? He's got certain features from the side when you look that are quite uh, familiar to my now deceased neighbor. Um, his features uh, are so similar in certain ways uh, and that's exactly kind of stuff I was programming my brain on the MK Ultra. For many things I was little and this was one of the qualities I had on the MK Ultra that I would go and I would sharpen my mind for the future, for the sake of the future events uh, with creating myself idea and an image about person, comparing one with individuals from my own environment, basically, from where I grew up. Uh, that could be including my co-evils, co -evils I would go to school to, or it would be teachers, it would be people that would come in the house, people that I knew, neighbors and stuff like this. And so now deceased Frank Udoge, right across the street, right in front of us, he built his home. Um, he reminded me of that, you know. Um, he reminded me so much uh, that his wife uh, Maida he would come uh, over and actually wanted to have a look of him this actually sparked uh, outrage with the Donico Lenz Donico Lenz was the one who moved uh, in the house next to the Frank and he figured out, this is a guy, this was a Putin guy, this was a v v Vucic guy, Alexander Vucic, Borut Pahor guy, Slovenian Borut Pahor, Vucic and Putin, these are a trio basically, this is a trio, that 
this could actually be a trouble because that's how I started to build an idea. They, they observed in me this dangerous quality that I have to memorize the people that will create, according to them, a danger, potential danger in the future. But they acknowledged me like a dummy, but he was the one who was looking at me. He was suspicious about absolutely every, everything. This is a guy who also speaks Polish. He learned Polish. Borat Power took him to Poland. Kaczynski, when they came here to us in 1995, when they start to pay visitation to us here, uh, they took him to Poland straight, and that's where how I was taken to Poland. He was the neighbor right here, right in front of me, right in front of our house. Uh, that's how they already smelled the danger brewing for the future. But uh, they were very dismissive. They were very um, luckily for me, good for me. It was very. They took it very easily. It's going to be very easy ride right, with me. Um, so this is definitely the man I recognize, I know what exactly I am talking about, if wife of the Frank, now deceased Frank, came over to see him, um, you know what I mean, then that basically tells you something a little, it's gonna be a trouble. Now, in 2008, when this happened, I got this feeling, there was another man on the picture too, in a little bit I will explain. And that was not the owner of the company. Uh, there were three guys. One was the owner of the company, Thomas. And then there was another man who was also a tall guy. But he was a worker, I think. Um, and there was this assistant who started to learn on how to do things. From Bosnia and Herzegovina, who would come. Let's just disregard this stuff and let's continue. I just wanted to give you an idea why I recognize him, how I recognize him, how I pick him up fast. So I tell mom that he's from Bosnia and this and that. Most likely. Uh, no sugar. Just call me mom and I'll come to pick up the coffee. Thank you so much. Now this guy, this guy is totally, totally on his thorns. He knows what I'm doing. He has his own telephone right on the side recording. He's got two telephones too. And I want it this way. I like it that way. Um, but any opportunity he would have, he would use to actually try to put me in doubt. He would try to cast doubt in me at whatever opportunity he possibly could use. And so when I suggested that he's from Bosnia, um, he doesn't waste time to tell me that he's got his accent. You know, for everything he had a answer ready. He would not want to be detected. Even once I detect him and I say, now deceased neighbor, my deceased neighbor, uh, gone already neighbor, he accented with importance, with a fear, uh, basically trying to tell me to be really careful what I'm going to be saying, what I will be doing. He says, deceased, deceased, basically. You're going to see that stuff. This guy knows me very, very well. And he does not want to um, come out uh, out of shell. He absolutely, absolutely wants to be identified. And over time I do so as much as I can. But in a big way, I didn't bother much. Uh, I wanted him to do his stuff in peace and uh, once I, I got my 100% proof, I kind of let go. But yeah, I could beg him for more. But then again, I had other stuff to do and so on. And I got so many other proofs. I got to put it on online. After all, I got so many Every time you dig into one of this, you're going to see this is so time-consuming stuff. This isn't the easy stuff to do. This is one of the hardest videos I ever did. Seriously. Coffee is getting ready. We're preparing coffee for you. Thank you, he says. You're welcome. I want to help him out, I want to give him a hand, but he does not want. This is a very nice man, this guy. So he works and works and works over there, he does his stuff. And in 2012, yeah. I ask you, where is the gentleman? From Bosnia. Uh, from Bosnia. He says, "From Bonnie, look, and you can hear you can hear this when I, the way I talk, right?" 
I said, sure, I said, I like Bosnian people. Good people, Bosnian people, good people. Bosnian people are people that I like because... Okay, Bosnian people are very, very welcoming people. They're very good people, they're very good. Um, they're people that help, they go out there and they'll help. Uh, people, they just they get motivated uh, in helping people, giving hand people. Um, I think that for that matter, to help the person out, uh, if you happen to have uh, a friend, a Bosnian, or even if you, they will not let you down, man. It's like I'm gonna be straight about this stuff in Bosnia during this war that happened. I gotta say this: the one that resisted to the war the most were Bosnian people. They resisted more than Serbs and Croats. And I don't care what anybody thinks about this. This is the way it is. They did not want war. They would not want war. They gave lives already. They still... They were in a complete disbelief about what was happening around them. They would not... call to arms, basically. They, they hesitated. And it's because of that they paid the biggest price. This is just Bosnian people. But once it started, they would come from all over the place, from all over the world. They would be returning back to their homeland to defend their homes. I said, it never happened to me that I would have a bad experience with a Bosnian... Oh, he's doing his job. Whatever he's... Yeah, he explained about the bearing. The bearing was the one that uh, got stuck. Lejai bearing. Dust. Dust got in between and, and it stalled bearing, basically. He said, this is not good. There are certain improvements that were done. So he gave me a good update about what the about what the cattle boiler was upgraded to. That's all it is. This is just a technical talk. He just explained to me, demonstrated me. It's also it's also probably a motherboard that went bad and stuff. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe really not. I'm not sure about that. I uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you straight. I don't actually even think that something had to do with the motherboard uh, or maybe it did have with the motherboard I have no idea what exactly uh, what exactly happened uh, but ah, there is some other stuff that goes on right now there is some other stuff that goes on right now you know um, Slovenia is buying uh, weaponry they're buying weaponry and I don't think they're buying this weaponry even for Slovenia that matters not um, we have two people, one is in the US right now, the other one is already at Israel negotiating the deal. It's going to be for about a billion dollars. None of this stuff that breaks, none of the stuff that ever happens, happens with a coincidence. And as I studied, this weapon is not even for Slovenia. Most likely is related to the issue in Karabakh with Armenia. So let's continue with this stuff. It's over 10 years old. Yeah, it's over 10 years old. This is over 10 years old, but in a little bit I'm going to give you like a really, really good detail about what happened in the year 2008. That's like 12 years back. Um, it was not 2009, I think it was actually 2008 when they brought me. So, I'm very, very specific about it. But it's also possible, man. It's possible that it was 2009. 2009 or 2008. It was a 2009 possibility is that it might have been even maybe really the same cattle, but I don't think it was the same cattle. I think that, uh, same boiler, I mean, I think that it was something to do with something else that went on. I don't think it was the same. Alright, let's continue, let's continue with all that stuff. Now, this is a high-tech stuff. Uh, he's explaining the differences between the old and newer system, modernized system. But it's quite expensive. Yeah.
I thought it'd probably be cheaper and this and that. Yeah, I was looking into a cheaper uh, variant of this stuff, and so. Yeah, it's just I understand, I understand it. I tell him again, but if I remember really good, you were here in 2012. I tell him actually, it was two of you that were here, not one. He says, uh huh. I says, you, you do not work maybe under the table in this company. He says, no, 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 no. I tell him, you remind me a lot about a man that uh, that I used to know, um, that was here in 2012. Yeah, I, no way I possibly could mistake in him. Banya Luka, Banya Luka, Pernyavor. He says Pernyavor. He gave me some coordinates about his hometown, uh, it's nice. I asked him, are you going to stay here, are you going to go back, whatever? No, he says, no, not. Uh, I got a family there, uh, but now with the coronavirus, this is really a problem. I was thinking they would come here, but it's not this coronavirus problem. Uh, where are you staying? You have some kind of uh, house, you have some place you're staying here in Slovenia. How are you staying here? Apartment. Uh, he says, no, there is, there is a house at uh, Balher and that's basically where we are staying. It's uh, three of us. Okay, now I want to take uh, a credit number two, I'm going to say. Okay, and I'm going to do just a little adjustment for the credit number one, which I claimed that father was the one who went out of business that he retired uh, that he just retired and was like two years retired this is what this is okay you're gonna hear me identifying uh, let me see something here how lucky I am he says here Spodny Bosch 33 Valher is right here and there is another house right here okay I think his house, from what I can recall. Okay, let's just go about the business immediately. All right, you see, this is where, if you zoom out, you can see his location, his little factory, production area. Uh, I wouldn't say farm, just as the case is down below here. Okay. What you're seeing here, we're going to do a little MK Ultra right now. Cross the time. This is the neighbor, that is his neighbor, but goes down south. Uh, also was involved in MK Ultra. Okay. Uh, the neighbor, it's like this. The neighbor started with nothing here. Okay. The neighbor, the only thing I'm going to tell you what, what is here. This here that you see here, this was a stall here. And there was a small house here. Actually, the house was quite decent, a stall. Uh, and pretty much everything else you see, he built 
he you want to call this improvement whatever you want to call this this is what happened this is how the whole thing grew out of business uh, this individual who became also motivated in business uh, I think about five years later something like this also opened some kind of a furnace business uh, selling boilers and stuff like this just like a Thomas uh, Valher did yeah this here that you see this is a Valher property right here I'm gonna zoom inside like this 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 here this is what this is this this thing here okay uh, this thing here that this this is the old shop that you see here this here this is a new shop this is a shop that was enlarged okay this here this is what his dad used to work old shop this here is a new home while her family built going through this is a funny shit because that's why you have always you have idea that when you walk when i walked i always had idea because i was dropped up that house was located here somewhere but this here as you see this is forest does not fit the description i'm going to give in continuation which is a field empty field basically grass uh, which is next to the forest uh, next to the small house and the thing is that you go right through here and you go through like a little forest this forest uh, enlarged itself over time it was less forest than what you see it here then you get through and you get to the little house right here uh, i think i don't know eight by eight or ten by ten something like this this kind of dimensions and this is the old house from valhers this is where they used to live in the past and i identify i point all this stuff out later on to the guy who tells me that he lives in here with other three guys okay that's all about the valher family what about this stuff here this here is the old building here according to my mk ultra memory this stuff here the new uh, the old building however was refurbished i mean refurbished it was rebuilt it was uh adaptatia i don't know how you say that in english they performed maintenance renovation on this building sometimes i estimate probably i would give like here hmm, i don't know man 2001 uh, maybe something like this this here no this stuff house that i think his family member i have no idea who cousin brother whatever uh they built sometimes in well god knows i don't know this this is probably they, they this thing popped up sometimes in like 2000 and uh, It's a big ass house. I don't know. 2008. I have no idea. Something like this. This year, old, old, old stuff, but renovated. And there is something also, if I remember properly, they have like created. They have added something to this structure, to original structure. But this is old, 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 renovated with a beautiful, beautiful people. Uh, some ladies inside, some men, they also got upset with me, but they loved me so much. I remember their little faces whenever we would be heading toward Austria up there. Um, sometimes they were upset, but they were always so happy to see me, so concerned. Uh, I think that uh, remote area of this place that just completely absorb their minds, the same like minds of the Polish people uh, over there in Lodz, where I was in many situations you're very very big uh, comparison very very similar issues going on uh, they renovated this stuff uh, sometimes i think in 2000 and um, i have no idea maybe i have no idea 2001 i don't know something like this it was renovated they painted everything it was so beautiful and they were so happy People were, I think the people are the most happy when they have their houses renovated and they were able to show up a little bit. And I would just want to remember their happy faces back then. Uh, that's how I wanted to remember them. Uh, this is this is what this is, folks. Uh, no, this isn't done. 
Uh, okay, so this is a bot hood or where business is located, where a new house, you see this is their new house. Uh, it doesn't say anything anywhere. No, you're not going to get anything here on street maps either. You don't get nothing. Zero. Nothing. And this is their old house. This is where they used to live. And this is these are the people I have explained. Other families here. And then you have this building here. This is also, this is like a taller building. This is some kind of taller building. I don't know what it is. This is quite a few residents here too in this building. Uh, older building, renovated as I have explained. And then you have like a private house, I think, a new one. They, they built, I don't know what here. I think the cousin, I don't know, a relative from Valher. But I might be completely mistaken about that. Okay, I'm just saying this is what I think the case was, all right? So this is like a one, two, three, and the only mistake if I did here on this MKUltra location would be related to this issue here, this. I don't know. There is no way to freaking know. I mean, like like this, this is I'm doing this stuff like this. This is very, very close to impossible. But um, this is the neighbor uh, of Valher. We're talking about this location here. And what we're going to do is, this is one property, you know. All this belongs to one owner. From what you see here, it says Cessna Tavorni Promet, Andrei Ramshek, SP, whatever, all the way right here to the end. All the way to the end. Now, in year 96, in 95, 96, 97, 98, Uh, this building here that you see was here, but this was uh, smaller. This was an older house. But this here that you see here, this this thing here, this this was a place for the horses. He had uh, horses here. This was a farm. This was a farm. And I know so. I remember so because the animals were here. This. In the back of in the back this is old this is the oldest thing here this for the animals i think that the old house i think i think is this one here and so the first thing that happened was he had here something whatever that was he removed this stuff away and he turned this into a parking lot sometimes in 99 uh, 98, 99, he started with a major, major, major work here. And he removed everything here for the horses and stuff like this, whatever it was. Animals, whatever it was. Um, then what he would do is he would start with a renovation with uh, this house here. He turned one into a really, really beautiful, uh, like a new alike house. Because there was a structure here, so that means that the home was either um remodeled or whatever the hell it was i'm telling you the house is just really really pretty uh this is the house you're not gonna find on the internet no matter what is it the hell you do uh it's like a yellow color and it's got a window like a wooden windows um frames i would say window frames with um um with a wooden uh how you say this um when you cover, when you shut, uh, not a shutters really, but well, shutters, wooden shutters, uh, yellow uh, house, yellow orange, light orange color of the house. If you would look into, it. you understand? The entrance to the property is right here. This was this was the entrance. You would go past house like this, boom, boom, like this, and then you would go. You would you would just go by this road here that you see through the property. This is exactly the way it is. And then he built this here. This, this, this structure here, whatever the hell is inside in here. I don't even know about that. Uh, in year 98, 99, 98, in 98, he started with a trucking. In 99, sure. In 98. And it was very difficult. You know, it was very difficult. Now my memory is kicked in. He and Valher, both of these boys, same age, I think, they so struggled uh, for bare survival. It was very, very, very difficult. 
Uh, and I don't know, but somebody also insisted me down here in this street, in this road, that they also started with um, also competing themselves to bar her with uh, boilers, with the furnaces, production of the boilers, furnaces, who the hell, where this was, and this and that. Boy, now I cannot remember, I can absolutely not remember everything, man. I can't remember everything, okay? But this is the stuff I gave you right now. I'm gonna take absolutely additional credits for the stuff I have stated. This is a very, very detailed stuff I have described to you. If I wouldn't be there back then, no effing way would I know anything about this thing here. I'm gonna give you just so that you get an idea what exactly we're we dealing about here. This is what this is here. Now you go ahead and Google this stuff, go to the pictures, and the only thing you're gonna get is this here. You get nothing. You don't even get the photo of the place or anything like this. You don't know anything. You don't even know what kind of service, what exactly is he providing what. All right, since we're talking about the, the service, it was something like this at the beginning at least. And it was one truck, not in a good shape and he was struggling and struggling and struggling and struggling and struggling but the business took off really well and one time we came and I'm telling you this was already sometimes I estimate probably sometimes in already 2003 I think this house was already renovated I think 2003 this house was renovated it was like I think maybe even enlarged yes it was enlarged I think like a terrace was added uh, that means it was it was enlarged and uh, remodeled uh, everything done over uh, uh, completely 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 unrecognizable by Mr. Andre Ramshuk and I hope he's going to congratulate me on this one. And I take all the credits one possibly can take for what I just did right now, right? So the animals are gone. In 98, the man turns this property from his father, uh, farm basically, into a trucking business, offering people uh, locally, basically, um, I don't know, uh, transport, this kind of, this kind of stuff like that uh, nothing like this okay none of that kind of stuff none of that kind of stuff none of that kind of stuff that you see back then not maybe someday he did but back then that was just not the case back then was smaller smaller stuff uh, nothing so big nothing like this um, that's what I can recall uh, it started small one and it took him for quite some time before he got two or something like this and it was a struggle 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 crying also because thing broke and and it was very expensive to fix and so on and so forth okay so yep i definitely take credit for this one and big credit for this one too this is a very very old house of the valhers this is their first home here this home this and this is where this he and two other Bosnian guys are staying. The Valhar family, they always employed Bosnian guys. They were good workers, and that's where they would have them, right here. I did met those guys too. I don't remember them all. So this is, if you want, I'll give you um, more for you to memorize, basically, uh, on how things are here. Okay, this, this is just pristine memory from MK Ultra that goes all the way back 23... 24 years back in time. He's got this business already 22, 23 years already, if I properly remember, I tell him. I think he's got actually 30 years. Even 30 years, he says. I says 30? Uh, definitely, he says. No, 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 I said this is not 30, this is, this is not 30. Now, he, he totally, totally confuses me. Uh, when he, when he comes with this number, I, I am like somebody with just 
bit me up. I, I'm calculating the number. 30 would mean in 1990 this is not possible. This is not possible. You know how this company opened? I'm going to explain. Uh, this company opened in year... 30 years at least backwards, just as he's going to explain. His father was the one who was a pioneer of this company. 30 years back in time. Uh, but in year 1995... father from Melania Trump who used to live right here in Sevnica see right here and this is very 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 near the city where I am from Novo Mesto is yes, my neighbor practically here sent Melania from a tiny little Slovenia she's same age as I am to Miami United States of America Melania was into modeling career and so she finds herself right here Actually, to be a little bit more precise about it, it goes like this. Now I'm going to demonstrate you where mine, I should say, my ex-wife's store used to be. And that shocks me a little bit too when I see that stuff. It goes basically like this. This is the place where Donald Trump eventually met his... Um, Here's now a uh, wife, Melania Trump. How about foreign money exchange? Uh, this year that you see here, this is always was here. And right next door, this, this thing here, right here. Uh, everything changed, everything removed from this. Became some kind of a food shop. This used to be the store from my ex-wife. This is where I used to be. And this is where Donald Trump eventually met Melania Trump. And here is actually the address, 234 Northeast, 1st Street, Miami. Da -da 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 and right next door, right here, this. And then this here, this is what I would have Lebanese people. They would sell clothing, basically. And it's a dumpster right there. And then you have another uh, clothing shop, which is still somehow exists over there. And I bet really probably is from the Lebanese people, my friends from Lebanon. This is basically what this is. This is the shop just like this I'm gonna to explain to you you would have Sia guys like this on the corner no oh, but you're talking about the real Sia uh, they would walk back and forth in this street boy this was this 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 was like really like um, like in a movie I'm not even kidding this was insane situation Melania Trump came to visit me about maybe three times on her own insisted for me to go with her to Slovenia tell me basically there's nothing there to do that there is nothing this and that but I was very very determined to actually even never return to Slovenia my idea was to stay in the US for good I was young uh, I really wanted to start a new life in the US I was not happy with life in Yugoslavia not even a little bit I was very very unhappy even with what Slovenia had to offer me upon independence from Yugoslavia. So I had no, absolutely no intentions to ever return back to Slovenia at that point in time. Um, probably third time, if it, she didn't visit me some, sometime in between, probably I say in year 1995, I estimate, it was Donald Trump eventually that hooked up with Melania Trump, waited for her to come out and jump and um, became social with her and ever since then she, the only thing that happened is she disappeared. Melania's father was a Udba, Yugoslav secret police member and this is what uh, basically she came, like, she came to collect the bill for the Yugoslav Udba basically. The idea was to bring me back home to Slovenia under whichever way, whatever, whichever way would it took to get me back. A yeah, marriage proposal literally from the female a really good-looking female was on a table 
um, very attractive and nice everything but really I had no intention to do any of that stuff why would I do this um, why would I get discouraged uh, not even employment office in Miami downtown that was really unpleasant place to go to did not manage to discourage me uh, to the degree that I would just say oh yeah let's go back to Slovenia and they try really hard back to Slovenia where all of a sudden I find myself along Donald Trump and Melania they would pay visitations to Slovenia um, Maribor is the second biggest city right after Ljubljana in Slovenia Donald Trump preferred um, over business preferred adventures he was into adventures and he just was interested in seeing Slovenia from the perspective of the tourist uh, for him this was a new founded America I think um, <laughs> from that point he was uh, just not too damn serious person and we did have Eric and we did have Junior with us uh, it wasn't just Melania and myself and we would just ride through this road here what's the name Srednia whatever this is to Austria um, let me make sure that this is the road because I got more to tell more proofs to give about this stuff is this what it is is it Srednia whatever this is Spodni Boc whatever Spodni Boc whatever like this tick 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 and all the way to Austria and once you go through the Austria you come to the border of the Austria in year 95 in year 96 the road used to look like this you see this here this is a typical what it would look like when you would come right on the border with Austria just this is what this is this is what this is and I don't know what this what is this I have no idea where is this here Trstenik this is almost I would say uh, like as if I would go and okay right here in the middle right here like this in the middle of the road there was a barricade and so here on the side on this side you see on this side here I think they did something they there was a way that you could go by this barricade that you could avoid one and proceed to Austria and they did this shit especially for Donald Trump I've not seen any police I've not seen any military uh, I know that people would meet us here they picked at us you know people like this with a they had delegation that you know uh, they always involved state security they always watch about every step every step on every meter along the way that safety would have been assured whichever way in Slovenia and then yeah that was Austria you would cross to the Austrian side and from the Austrian side um, for the until year 2001 you understand until year 2001 we would not even go to Graz this is Graz in Austria it's not too far from uh, Maribor it's Graz this once Slovenian city was not big enough for this transatlantic uh, airplanes uh, for even for the connections it, it, nothing really was happening here we would just proceed right here to Vienna this is Vienna right here and from Vienna then that's basically where we would take off back until year 2001 I think it was like that so it was just time that this city that you see is so giant was developing itself big time it had a lot to catch up with to become what it is today today this is already a big city with a big ass airport and this I can tell you this I can I'll give you some more you can give me credit for the city you can give me the credit for the road the road to Austria sometimes in let's be really really detailed with the asphalt situation okay because of Donald Trump because of Donald Trump the first thing that came to this Sportney Borch Road 707 road toward Austria the first thing that happened here 96 probably 97 96 probably even was the asphalt they paved the asphalt and it was like this the asphalt situation all the way to I estimate all right you understand this is just uh, what I managed to record from MK Ultra I don't actually know maybe here up to the liquid botch I estimate at here at Veliki Botch here uh, the asphalt ended and it would be a mess of them just like I have demonstrated you 
uh, it's like this situation probably even today. The only thing that happened was they removed that uh, barricade, whatever was blocking the passage. Uh, was this the road? Was that the road? Was it this way? Was it that way? I don't hell even know. I don't remember all this. I gave you like the super, super, super details and you're going to give me yet another credit uh, for what I am referring to. I am going to refer to this again as, again, super, super memory. Better memory than Donald Trump. Wow, something that people of this valley alone uh, Thomas age and his neighbor age probably are surprised with on getting about all this stuff right now okay so let's do it like this all right let's continue with this stuff I'm all confused I, what he's saying to me does not make sense to me the 30 years and now I'm not talking about sense anymore 23 right if you take 2020 and you subtract 23 you do get 97 it does make sense if you take 24 you get year 1996 but now I'm talking about already 27 because I'm hit with the crap right now when he says 30 years 30 years and I'm like what do you mean 30 years I was not even in the US 30 years ago I came in the US in year 1995 so that didn't make sense to me I'm I'm dizzy right now when he's saying this stuff but I don't know what what but yeah his father that he was the one who started this business so long ago start to make sense to me and yeah I gained the traction and here's what's coming next you're gonna give me some more credits right now right now you're gonna give me more credits I said to him 23 for sure and he was the first one in Slovenia no doubt Uh, his father used to produce uh, furnaces uh, since uh, 85. The ordinary cattle. And I said, yeah, but this, those are the ordinary cattle, uh, cattle's uh, furnaces. Okay, let me now explain more. I need more credits from the police. I need more credits from stuff, how this is done properly. Ah, Donald, Donald Trump brought... Yeah. Throughout entire Eastern Europe, whether that be Czech, Slovakia, Poland, Belarus, uh, Ukraine, Croatia or Slovenia or whatever, Poland, whatever it would be, it would be no different. He had like a, like a big ass, like a thick file with him, right? He had like a, like a file like this of new, uh, in Slovenian language you would say the honesty, right? Uh, translated to English, that would be like activities, um, types of uh, activities. Uh, that would take over, like as per private businesses. Uh, and that's exactly what he offered to a Valher, Thomas. Thomas was um, a son. Um, and Thomas took that with him. Yeah, father did retire briefly. Briefly he retired. He retired for about six months or one year at least. And I am not sure whether he actually worked out with the local office that they actually stamp him that inside or not. But that's it the way it was. There is no doubt about that. He did. He did. He did at least a year. Something like this. It was like that. And Thomas was the one who took off and he started again. So he gave him this stick top file and he said, go over this stuff and decide what is it that you want to do in life. I mean, what kind of, a, what is it that you want to do? Father, father was like, how can I say, father was... This is just, um, you're talking about a very nice man that I had an impression and had a feeling that he worked a lot, that he was like exhausted and um, his son wanted to learn more about this stuff, what, what else can possibly be out there. I'm not even sure the father looked, if the father was really happy about this. He worked very, very hard, but these people are not really like wealthy people or something like this over there. This is a very, very hard business. So I think he wanted to see what else is out there. Um, and he decided that he does want to continue with furnaces. He want to go on with it. 
Um, so it happened so that we would go, uh, Donald would brought him this, he would give him this photo, he would hand him, he made a decision, he's gonna go, he's gonna continue with that stuff. And it would be like this, like, we would come like once we met over there, it was a blah blah, the next time he brought him this folder, uh, the third time when he told him that the hitting is that he wants to continue, um, Donald, we would leave back I think to Mariboy, it was something like this, um, but Donald Trump did pay attention to his needs, and because this is his business, Donald Trump was doing this kind of sales, he was after every dime, after every penny out there he possibly could grab somewhere. Um, either hat, when we would come over, either hat he bring someone over, a new file, a new folder, literally with names of the companies that would assist him, that would serve, that would make him an offer uh, to furnish uh, this boilers, this, this furnaces, this cattle, this Slovenian market uh, through them. Um, it was a company that was a disaster according to Mr. Thomas Walher. It was the company that was very expensive, that it was almost close to impossible to make sales. Um, it was all kinds of uh, tricks inside with this Trump's company. Um, he resolved this company within just, I think, like two years or something later. But yeah, uh, I'm not gonna forget. Yeah, this was Eric. This was Junior. Would be here. Uh, park here and park the car on the side, uh, back and forth in the car, and this and that. So it's like a young kids. Um, we're gonna go get this, we're gonna go this, back and forth, and they would go here and meet some people there, and meet some people there, and this and that. It was other people. This whole area started to express interest. People were quite crazy about meeting other people from elsewhere, visitors and stuff like this. Uh, and so, it was quite alive, this place. And the whole thing, the whole thing happened, literally, why we met these people was a precondition, basically, that Trump was into finding people who are willing to help me out. In return, he would provide them with a business. What that means, finding me people that were willing to return, I'm gonna put it this plain and short, nothing good for the people, I think. What he wanted to do is, he wanted to get the Nazi obligation from the people. Donald Trump steered a lot of problems to the people. This is number one thing. It's a stuff that cost a lot of people even lives. The second thing that Donald Trump wanted through this so-called help, which was nothing else than a slavery. I was a really a hostage. I was used as an instrument for torture. At will of, well, people, politicians that did not know any better. Uh, most often, most frequent politicians that could not retaliate for Trump's actions to Trump alone, and they needed someone to reimburse their anger on. And that's when I was uh, came to place, and it was all kinds of filthy stuff that they triggered against me. Nothing good, nothing good. All the worst, I would say, drugged up, brought uh, even to areas that just resolved from the war conflict, like such was the situation with this place I'm gonna take you to, Pernyabor. Uh, whoa, when I would return back to Miami and I would walk the streets of Miami and I would be thinking about this kind of stuff, actually death threats I have received from the country close that was to this conflict I never had to go had to do anything with this conflict and you emigrate to the United States of America and somebody grabs you like this for the throat and bring you drugged up to the country like this to be tortured over there that's not good people telling you that they're gonna kill you like in a million in one way and stuff like this for what for why and stuff like this this is this is what Donald Trump created this is what the US government gave Donald Trump US taxpayers this is what they gave him not only US taxpayers this is what Berlin this is what Battenbergers from London from Buckingham Palace gave Donald Trump the right to make decisions about multinational corporations where they're gonna be situated when and this and that why and how and this and that this is bad stuff folks this is not the way you do this stuff like this this is crazy but it was like this because it wasn't about helping me it was about helping themselves it was about what became what turned out 
The politicians alone giving me private information with idea of my pointing at them and going after them. They were doing the stuff like this, all kinds of stuff like this to anger me, basically to madden me. They wanted me to go after them and they wanted to have this kind of pressure on them, against them, so that they would stick with one another, so that they would stick according to agreement. This is basically what powered them was this very, very case. And that's why this is a very serious issue. U.S. minorities that are exposed to this kind of pressure, um, black, Hispanic, and, and normal U.S. Democrats that are watching this stuff. This is a very serious stuff behind elections of 2020, just like behind elections of 2000, a few months prior to 9-11, when Gore, when the U.S. Democrats gave as a gift elections to George W. Bush, there is all kinds of stuff that goes on right now. And if you won't let me speak, you're never going to have anybody who's going to speak for you anyways. It is as simple as this. If I somehow disappear from the picture, the only thing that's going to happen is you're not going to have anybody who otherwise could spoke, speak for you, do something for you. That's all there is to it. There's nothing more to it. Whenever I was brought back from like this, from these trips, I would find myself in Miami depressed. I would say not really, but angry. I was really, really angry. I realized soon though that anger like this would bury me because I had no way, I had no instrument I could come anywhere close to the guy like this. Uh, he had a US government on his side and I was just a poor guy trying to somehow survive in the US. Married to much older a uh, lady, an uh, Indian from Ecuador, from South America, just trying to get by, get my green card, and then U.S. citizenship. Eventually, what powered me was a uh, desire to become an American police officer, law enforcement officer. And this was also the stuff that uh, they didn't like, the politicians, even a little bit, my pursuing this. Uh, they tried to instill in me some kind of idea that I'm uh, some kind of bad guy or something like that. And that's why they screw me up with the jobs and all kinds of stuff. They anticipate I'm going to turn to drugs or do something like that. And all that fall apart. I never was into it. This was actually really a strategy. Um, after the first company Donald Trump delivered, uh, that was a major, I'm going to say a fuck up for uh, Thomas, uh, that lasted about short. Uh, that must have been about a year and a half, something like this, two years. He no longer could put up with that stuff. It was time to upgrade the company. And uh, sure enough, pretty damn and soon, and soon, quite crazy, um, the road, sometimes in, I estimate, was the year, huh, probably I would say that the year was... Oh, I'm gonna do that with a very very good precision 2001 probably I estimate something like this No, it was much earlier. I'm um, sorry. This must have been done in year like 99 maybe something like this. I have found myself in this city here This is probably the name of the city is called Allendorf Eder uh, but this is basically because this Allendorf, Allendorf is, is that a headquarters for the company you are about to see here. The name of the company is Wiesmann. And the website that you are seeing right now was demonstrated to me by uh, Thomas Walter alone. Uh, the first cattles, the prior uh, I understand that uh, he was doing something like this even, like this stuff, strange. It was really, really not appealing, whatever the hell that was. Um, so the company I think was Wiesmann, and at a headquarters of Wiesmann, will actually take you to this city, to Wiesmann, you see? Allendorf, Germany, that's a headquarters. But then there is a little more to Allendorf. And this is what people from Slovenia could not understand when I told them that. You see, Wiesmann Werke means Wiesmann Factory. 
right next to it is what you don't see it's called the city of Battenberg you see Battenberg this is Battenberg now the Battenberg is actually the family and this is what they couldn't understand they couldn't see and this is probably why they didn't understand why I know why do I remember all this stuff this is says Grand Duchy of Hesse but it's translated to the English language as Mountbatten family from German Mountbatten family are actually Windsors this is a family inside of the Buckingham Palace Mountbatten family you know them all that's actually is what brought me that's precisely as a Prince Philip right here that's precisely 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 what brought me to Battenberg that's precisely what brought me to Allendorf that's precisely why I know I knew it immediately I was at this place already with the Buckingham Palace years prior to um, coming there with Slovenian guys right that's a Wisman now sometimes in 2009 I would say to be completely completely totally 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 <clears throat> therefore for about eight years nine years down the road the company makes another transfer Thomas um, Walher decides to join with this company here Ursa de Oho and it was already this um, they would have this down like this this company is here like this and ever since I think they started to work together I hope I did not disclose some uh, business information more than what I should because this is what you teach me after all anyways this isn't my fault so long ago was this and so sometimes in the year 1999 um, as the guy mentioned that the furnace we have is about 10 years old I don't think it's possible but I think it was a cattle that was older cattle that was something that was older than the one that we have that was the first one and the installation of that cattle was inside of the house sometimes done in 2008 2009 2009 I think and then this they decided after they installed this thing to take one out and the gentleman the young man from Bosnia and Herzegovina was already one of the guys and the other man who participated in this installation I think he somehow looked like this it was the owner Thomas it was then two other guys one was um, another uh, worker I think it was a Slovenian that looked um, somehow like this now there is a problem with this Thomas Valher because he is taller than myself too and uh, this worker confirms me and then there is more problem with Mr. Valher Thomas Mr. Valher Thomas I was the one who made him a problem I was the one who made him a problem and how I did this well I did this stuff because he started to fear me you know um, that he's gonna get himself uh, in a trouble just for trying to help me out uh, because a lot of people got in trouble for trying to help me out even the KGB people were afraid of this man here um, the politicians they just wanted to have their own true uh, and so he was looking for a way out he did not want to appeal to me because he didn't want to be dead basically as simple as this he was afraid as hell this guy fear like a rabbit sorry but that's just true and I'm trying to be good humored here in a good sense don't mean nothing bad uh, this guy is really scary uh, a lot of people are afraid uh, and when you have a Borut Pahar, let's say now Slovenian president Borut Pahar coming to you at your home and saying to you uh, please 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 do this please do that just do this just do that uh, you can stress shit on me but don't stress the shit on the man you have seen right there do you know who this is this is the president of the Russia and stuff like that then people really get scared and this was just a totally totally regular procedure what I stated right now this was just a complete completely complete normal a total normal and so people were scared as shit people would not want to play with any of this and even now when I'm recording this stuff he probably feels uncomfortable that's why I'm trying to I am accenting that stuff I'm doing is actually kind of brutal maybe in a way but 
you know I trust I believe that I'm gonna get these things done for the benefit of everybody because I can and I will and foremost because of what I have gone through um, he when you look at him from the side um, yeah he gained quite a few pounds for one thing I'm gonna tell you and the second thing he did is he promised he would do he demonstrated me some kind of photo I did not even look at him through the internet when I was talking to this guy in which he was um, he had quite a darker complexion than what you see even here okay he his complexion was quite quite darker now what is exactly the reality of this guy man this guy is um, was he was as pale as war like hell I mean he's he's a very very light-skinned guy um, he's a taller guy and he was just wearing this uh, worker suit and he was um, a skinnier than this I had very 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 strong feeling that if it was not he then he must have been some other guy that he participated which I still think it was he was also a taller guy uh, in year 2009 first time when they would come in our house I think there were three and the two stayed and another guy was then gone of the picture and they studied the um, what did they study they studied the um, uh, how do you say that well the installation for for the cattle um, I, it doesn't even come to me and maybe it's a little late hour or whatever uh, for entire house how the how the pipes yeah pipes how the pipes are going to be running how the installation for the pipes is going to be inside of the garage that's what they were doing and um, I'm pretty damn sure that the guy that I have demonstrated what one looked like was gone um, the website I'm about to mention him is Kauna DNA IT and you're going to hear me saying this this is exactly the page I brought him I went upstairs it's kind of a look so pale this guy that it was finished and it came to me later on and I still insist there was another guy there was another guy that more or less looked like this um, maybe he was from another company maybe maybe he was from, uh, with, from the company that they joined the powers together um, it just might have happened so that he was there shortly that he saw and then he left and then it was the owner and this Bosnian guy the two of them that stayed and worked together further with that furnace in 2009 that's a very very strong possibility and I still insist on one the thing about it is that a Slovenian guy Tomas Vaher he alone also was pale his skin was like a totally light complexion and so that he would not look in my eye like some kind of Aryan or something like this he developed some really you see here like a wild haircut uh, and he made them sure that when he would be demonstrated me his photo through his worker through this Bosnian guy that the photo would be taken upon return from vacation so I think that the photo that he demonstrated me on a smartphone was the photo from the Adriatic from vacation because he's just people get uh, it's actually not even funny you know I mean you're gonna hear about this stuff um, you know this is just the way it is okay let's continue now with this I pointed out and for the Thomas Valher and I pointed out for the person I have mentioned both of them as being taller guys definitely did so I'm talking about I come back and I want this proof so I want more about this mom smells me and comes and she does not want me to ask does not want me to ask anything Oh, I'm talking to mom. She says, uh, you installed this seven years ago, eight years ago, in 2012. And I asked mom, I said, but these are two guys, right, that were doing this installation of this furnace, right? Am I correct, mom? I don't remember this at all, she tells me. This is already too much for me, she says. But I do remember, I tell mom, I do remember. What are you going to remember when you were not even at home? 
See, my mom knows I was inside of the mental hospital. And I tell her, exactly I tell her mommy. She says, and you always know everything. I said, that's right. Uh, the other guy who was here is like a really pale skinned guy. Taller guy, I am showing him, I demonstrate her taller than myself. He's got a, he's really pale skinned, white. Slovenian guy, my mom, hysteric like always, this is, you can't get anything out of my mom. My mom actually goes downstairs and he prohibits the guy behind my back, she positioned herself, she didn't change even a little bit, uh, and she gestures, insists uh, for the guy to keep silent, to say nothing about anything to me. <laughs> uh, it's got to do with the nerves too. Um, she lost a lot of nerves in this stuff that I have gone through. This is the stuff that took toll, habit toll. Uh, also on my parents, not only myself. Understandable. I am still determined to come to the bottom of this. I just wanted to ask you please, just one more last thing I wanted to ask you, please. Uh, I asked your boss, your boss, I tell him, this is, the, the guy is taller than myself, like this, like this. Um, well, it's, basically, it's like this, and this is right now, I am 100%, I know that, uh, there was another, another individual, yes, it was another individual. I found, later on, I found Thomas Walter at RTV Slovenia, right here, that you can see him, you can get impression about his size. He really did gain some weight. He did. Uh, I think I did pretty, pretty damn well anyways. Uh, the, the guy does look like, uh, facially, this is, this, this isn't bad at all. This isn't bad at all. This is, when you tell like this, that he's a taller guy, that this is more or less what he looks like, that he was in this, in this uniform and so on. This is a pretty damn good, uh, it's a pretty damn good shot, but still I think that in 2009 there was that third person that was present. Uh, Thomas Walter is uh, taller than myself, he, he is taller than myself, uh, but the guy I'm talking about right now, that individual is, I think, I think that individual was, yeah, just about something like this. Definitely taller from my side, from myself, I would say at least like, 10 centimeters definitely so I don't know precisely when it comes to Thomas Valer how much of the difference is right there but the guy I'm talking about that guy was yeah just about what I stated right now but I think he too is taller but I don't think he's as tall as the guy I stated but both of them are taller and I pointed out also that his boss I pointed out exactly the height of his boss but there was I think this third person I get the confirmations from this for this from this individual but there is another thing that is more important uh, that is more important for me 
Uh, I don't actually even care about this as a credit. I want something like 100% irrefutable stuff that I'm after, you know. That's how I do it. I don't go away until get that done. <laughs> he has demonstrated me the photo, which I already told you. This is the photo. Totally, totally no. From the frontal face, uh, I actually even assume that he is not from Slovenia. When when I see this photo, I have idea that he might be actually also from Bosnia. The, the thing is, he showed me the frontal photo. Um, the boss, just like probably told me the case he would do with the photo when he would return from vacation or something like this from Adriatic, that he would go and take a photo for me so that he would... <laughs> as much as possible that he will resemble somebody from from some place like this but he is really light pelt individual so this is this is most likely the guy I, I watched in 2012 we're talking about uh, 2012 uh, and I don't know uh, there was a third person in 2009 something like this there was another person they brought along and that's from the company that I already have explained No, 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 I was in Bosnia. I was not, I was not, I was not, I was not. I told him, no chance, no chance, no chance. <laughs> There's no way I would I would make a mistake. Listen, when you have a neighbor, Maida came here uh, and looked at the guy to see what exactly I was talking about during MK Ultra, And she was like, yeah, he does not look like this and that. But on the side, it was, yeah, but certain features does. And you have um, the guy who moved in the house next to them. They basically almost... These are two houses, but almost look like the same household. These are two sisters, basically. Um, one married with another guy who already is deceased now, and another one married to another guy. <laughs> and the other guy is saying that this is going to be a trouble and this and that. You know, that I did not make a mistake, not even a little bit. Now I tell him this is your theory, I don't agree with you, and we are both laughing. I I state this here the, the the web address and so on and so forth. And he knows that I know about this stuff. He knows that I remember this stuff. I tell him, thank you very much. I tell him, you are the one who demonstrated me the old home from Valhurst. You alone, you were the one who took me to this home. You are the one who demonstrated me this this old home, this old home they used to be in from Valher family. And he's laughing and I say, you, you, you. I tell him, you know what? I come back to him, do you know what? I tell him, do you know what? The home that you said that you are at some kind of home uh, at the Valhurst. I'm gonna tell you what. He says, yes.
boom uh, it's like this this is a home I tell him I come it's a home you have a home and then around the home like this is nothing just like this grass here this is why I say this is what this is uh, and you know what this is a small home I tell him this is a small 10 by 10 meter home and I think this home actually used to belong to the Valhar family this is actually the old home from the Valhar family and so he says yes it is true you are right so I definitely would 100% identify him and his home and his boss and his whole business but there is more to come because <sighs> how can I say this is the stuff that I'm not gonna say that I just cannot resist I wish I possibly could do more but the Google Maps in Bosnia and Herzegovina they are not on plate they don't function yet let me just complete this I I am laughing and I say and I ask him this time I ask him because this time I have him I said did I good guess this did I really really good guess this he says yeah 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 you he says you really did you really did I said and see you were the one it was thanks to you I say thanks God that you even look like this because you look like like my neighbor I tell him and he says the one who no longer is in this world the one who died right and he says loud like this well it's basically it's like this he is afraid he is afraid uh, really 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 afraid and I'm gonna get to this issue in a little bit I'm gonna give uh, good details about all this stuff uh, this is a Bosnian man he is from Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, the area he was born the area he lived in his life was in Bosnia everybody was everywhere welcome and Croats and Serbs and Bosnian people lived like one next to another the neighbor next to neighbor they would get married from one house to another it didn't matter to them nothing about who is Muslim who is Christian Orthodox or who is Roman Catholic you know it was any problem to anybody they just it was like a totally atmosphere that uh, it's 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 not like in the US it's like there was zero hostility literally there was no hostility there was just uh, well, one was from this family another one was from that family and I think they enjoyed this kind of relations I frankly I think they they enjoyed this kind of relations this is what I really I think that there was nowhere nowhere such a unique uh, you know and like you say that Bosnian people they they refused to have fight they refused to have a war and then at one point um, when it broke out and this killing started this this is just passion basically that takes over and it's nothing else than killing um, he how can I say he found the meaning in life and uh, basically avoiding conflict and what I mean by this it's actually he did not want to get into even in this stuff uh, it's a possibility it's a strong possibility that it was actually Vucic Alexander Vucic that had something maybe even to do with this in other words that it was that did have something with permission of Vucic he is from area like this literally he's a Bosnian guy this is a Muslim guy uh, but he does have in a family something also Serbian and he is just trying to avoid conflict he does not want to have a conflict with anybody he just want to move on with life um, and Vucic wanted me to talk about this he wanted me to talk about this city this is why Prnjavor this is why he said Prnjavor um, I was not capable to spot um, his house in Prnjavor in um, in Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, there was just few households they they, they tempted me they, they pointed my face that this is what it is this is what it is and there was many other people that were involved in this we were coming over the many course of the years to this place and then at one point in time no more uh, and so Prnjavor had a lot to do with Alexander Vucic now president of Serbia and this is just additional information additional detail I'm gonna give I'm gonna use that just as an extra scores about the real uh, as authentic as possible witnessing of MKUltra account 
um, yeah, you were able to hear him. Koyek Vishenema. No? He knows who he is talking about. He knows the implicity of this case. In year 2012, a Vladimir Putin also came when they snapped me from a mental hospital in Ljubljana, literally. It wasn't only Americans that popped up here and all kinds of weirdos again came. Whichever, whenever they would do this, it, was, it would be weird uncles that would appear. Uh, Putin does not go to, definitely not Ukraine, nor he does go to Poland or Czech Republic or Slovakia. He doesn't trust them. It's not that it would be anything else, but he does trust, he does, he will go to Slovenia. He does. This is the only other country that he would go. Uh, and so, in 2012, Putin wanted to go to Mr. Valher, personally, and he did. This is why these people are so afraid to say anything, they're like, uh, uh, literally like this. Weird idea of business, and then uh, Putin alone explained to me, not because he would be interested in doing business for himself, but he became a cat, copycat of Donald Trump, and he too would start to carry with him folder and collect the names of the companies, types of activities they would do for his cronies over there in Russia. Now, Putin decided to form his circle of influential and billionaires and all kinds of people uh, that would be benefiting from within as long as they would be loyal to him. Now, this is exactly Donald Trump's school. This is how he was uh, establishing himself over time. This is what, what he would do, basically. Uh, Putin told me, I'm not into this, he was into something else, and he did snack a main, state-owned main, probably the most precious, the most valuable thing in Russia, uh, with unprecedented uh, financial value because of the minerals that are inside of that state-owned main. He does have this kind of stuff, but he started to do, he became a copycat of Donald Trump. Let's go to Pernyavor, and I'm going to give you more details about, just as I have explained, just few details about the city itself so you get an idea that I am the real deal, I'm not making these things up, alright. By the way, the audios look like this, there are four of them, if anybody has doubts about this stuff, don't. Pernyavor is located, just as the gentleman stated, right next to Banya Luka, it's here. The gentleman First of all, I'm going to give you a little uh, background about the city. The city the city was half of the size that you see here in 2000 and 2000, something like this. The city was half of the size that you see here. It was a really smaller city when compared to what you see here now. Half of the size, I tell you. The house is doubled. And the city expanded toward this area here. This. Toward this area. This was just totally, totally... A lot. No, it's not only in that area, but... And also this area here, this is also where it expanded to a lot of new homes. But this is homes all over the place. Now that they show me some funny locations here with idea to convince me that this guy's home was in a such and such place. Now that's just not, that's just somehow, that's not a theory. That's not exactly the truth. Okay. This was one of the locations they claimed me uh, that this was his home. No, this was not his home. Um, this was one of the locations that we would pay visits to, part of the Pernyavor, right here, because of the industry that started to develop. This here was the first industry here in this area, as a matter of fact, before even this here, was this thing here, this. This was here since from forever like some kind of hangar or something like this that I don't even know what they, they were growing something inside or whatever and then you have this thing would pop up this blue thing would pop up like this and then this would pop up next to it this too and then all this stuff would start to grow this way this I don't actually know I do not know whether this and this are the same I don't know I know that this was here before this was then this would start it then this would start to form. Vucic was actually not here yet when we were here already. We were already here during, I would say, even when the war conflict went on. Serbia was bombarded in 1999. 
we would be already around here because this way I think this was not a war zone this is what I think sure I am definitely not our first place we would stay would be this houses here this and I think precisely toward the end of the street I think this where this old house is where we would stay and many of those houses then here in between here but also here they would build many 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 of these houses something the American psychologist insisted me there was a whole complex here then of the new houses that they built whatever but the company that you have seen a little earlier the one that expanded like that also expanded on this side of the road and that must have happened I believe sometimes in 2004 or something like this 2003 and this is when Vucic started to come and make all kinds of uh, panic how was basically in the city he wanted his presence to be a knowledge and he was barking more than anything else uh, came up with the lies that they did this here for uh, young people this uh, little pond here uh, bullshit this always was here and this is the stuff I didn't like about him because he was just making up bullshit basically but he too was young and that's also understandable and with his emotions and so on or whatever he also ran high uh, and I also steer him problems uh, I'm not gonna avoid that issue either I admit I mean what's true is true um, they got tired of me in this city pretty damn soon because I did not give a damn about anything really um, but the industry started to grow and from my perspective if you ask me his girlfriend who was interested in me what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take like this another piece here another whatever what was this some other barn here away we're gonna do it like this yeah there was some other barn here boy I have completely forgotten what the hell it was but his girlfriend before he even met her was the first one from this couple that I knew before I met him and because I did not express enough interest in her she expressed interest in him the way they started with a couple um, I think it was sometimes in my opinion sometimes in 2005 2004 2005 2004 I would say she brought me to this village it was a village a beautiful 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 village the village I was trying to find something like this I couldn't find anything really but the village would be it would consist of the old homes it would be like an old village that would consist of the homes like this this is what her home was really really a humble home like this a beautiful humble home old home Bosnian home beautiful home next to barn and then there was another barn also uh, on this side and on like you see it behind this newer house yeah there was no newer house in the picture back then uh, on the top of this thing here right on the top of it this here like this um, if I was be doing something like this there was a road here like a road and if you would go uh, there were two ways you would use that you would come to this house one was literally through the village if you would go through the village the road was just in the middle of these houses the houses were very scarce it wasn't like everywhere house but this path here that you see looked like this more or less barely looked like any road it was like like this this is the way this looked like okay but on the top here on the top wow now you're talking already about quite a decent road so this was along the road that would look something like this I'm just gonna do this real fast something like this would be but none of the houses here nothing like this but the clean area like this with the grass with nothing around just like I told the other guy and it would be a little bit up here and here would be like a little forest a little bushy stuff like this later on even that stuff would disappear but here on this side of the road let's pretend it would be a village and it would be houses like this like this like this and eventually her house it would be right at the end of this uh, little village okay as a as a, an example uh, it would look like hey okay, I really can't find anything like this but 
this is I gave this is the idea I gave you more or less what that looked like. Another property they figure out, they try to point me at, uh, and God knows to whom this stuff pertains to because it was so many people that were involved in this stuff was the property here. This was another idea they came up with. Uh, this one is located in Kanyuho. See, this would definitely be much more. Uh, much 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 more logical and I'm saying this from the perspective that he alone told me because he realized that they were just telling me all kinds of stuff about where I he is located he said look where the Jamia is Jamia he said Jamia in from Bosnian translated means mosque so the most likely he was trying to give me an idea that I should look into something like this but boy the structures grew everything changed it's not an easy for me to go about and just point out where this will be located right so that's that I can tell you about this Vucic a little bit late he came to this city but he was really really embraced uh, in this city by Serbian people they were afraid they 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 were really really afraid I mean it's really funny times strange not really any good times um, left this place where he smelled like after three years, you know, he was in Belgrade, Vucic. Now, Vucic was here. This is Belgrade, Serbia. This is his city right here, Belgrade. He smelled about this location that we would start to pay attention, that we would come just like a three years later. And once he would smell, he would always be here. He always, no way you could come without meeting him. That it would be some kind of delegation like this that would come around and that they would not meet him. Donald Trump didn't give a F about. Serbia or Bosnia or Croatia or Slovenia or shit they were trying to because he mounted all kinds of stuff um, hey it's such a nice person this and da 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 uh, to do a little bit to commit more than just to investment you know that they would actually get some kind of grant something like this that they would not have to pay off uh, sometimes in 2000 and stuff like this 2001 here in Bosnia it was necessary to rebuild the country. The country suffered severe conflict, civil war, basically. It was a war field. He did not give a shit, not about one or the other. Uh, the delegation, which attempted to travel here towards Zenitz and Sarajevo and this and that, did not even get too far according to his own instructions. Uh, Donald Trump just wanted to stick to the money in the pocket uh, and make sure that goes along well and the rest of it pretty much that was it uh, that's all I can tell you about this here uh, the last thing Vucic left me with was this here because I was no good to him for anything anyways um, he never was happy about anything this was the last thing that I can tell you about this was completed sometimes I think in 2012 there was some other stuff that fantasized about the city and so on and so forth but this was the last big thing that happened here this church here church of the holy martyr uh, pentelman pentelaimon and this was also the way to get out of the city to hit the highway and then disappear uh, probably on his way to belgrade whatever and we would be heading the opposite way so this is pretty much what I'm gonna give you this time I don't have anything else I would add to all this stuff uh, this I'm gonna use just as yet another MK Ultra proof yes every time when I get into this stuff it's really time consuming that I really don't want to do that stuff um, it's like anything else I missed here that I would say I probably do did but look uh, that's all I wanted to do uh, this is quite exhausting and I think I did a good job anyways it's about what is it two hours seven minutes yeah decent amount of time that's all I wanted to say they wanted me to do some uh, propaganda for some other stuff but that's just not gonna happen uh, this is Slovenia here and um, I like it this way in 2006 when I came in the US I was actually contemplating on moving to Bosnia uh, but then I realized that this would be maybe the move that would left me very quickly and without real estate and without everything and I did contemplate on doing so because Slovenian real estate went up steep up 
Um, in Bosnia, that was just not the case. But the situation that could potentially develop again a war uh, really kept me away. Uh, sometimes, yeah, in 2005, I think, when the girl no longer could hold him, uh, and she got the boy from this village, and he was the one. The two, I think, had a plenty of fun. And this fun, I think, lasted for about, I estimate, maybe two months, maybe something like this. It was only a sex and rock and roll baby, I think. Uh, and the contract itself, because it's a Muslim people, really, both families. And really, I have no problem with that, any of that stuff, because it's just really wonderful people, nice people. Uh, his side of the family, I don't know who, gave him some kind of money. And he brought some money with him, and they... This is wonderful, actually. <laughs> um, they also pay him some kind of money to marry her. Basically, he got also some kind of money. I don't know, 20,000 or something. What was it? 15,000, 20,000 euros or whatever. And they started to build a home like you see right here. The funny thing about all this stuff, you know what kind of a shocked me? Uh, it would it would it would it would more or less look like this um, This guy was uh, super super hard-working The one thing I could not understand under any circumstances however was the front fence This the fence a beautiful fence that he would put that he would be doing this kind of stuff rather than fixing other stuff This is the stuff that kind of uh, lifted me up um, But later on the home became more and more and more and more beautiful. This is a very, very hard-working individual uh, this entire area and Serbs and Bosnian people are very very hard working uh, really really dedicated people uh, dedicated to life people I think I would go and visit again uh, I don't think they would uh, eat me um, I would go here and see this place again it's 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 Pernavoro this Bosnia is a very beautiful place actually you know it's it's all this it's all beautiful but yeah when the war comes and uh, you have three uh, shooting at one at each other basically you don't even have two opponents this is like worse than in a in a western movie uh you don't know where the bullet is coming from boy um, then you know you have to think twice if you're gonna go for something like this you know because the stuff like this can always develop and you're left without nothing you know i watched this war over there in in armenia i i don't think i'm gonna understand anytime soon any of that stuff now the final the final is that the people are left without homes basically it was a boom 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 and that's that's what the war does. Then leaves people with a lot of refugees all over the place, displaced and stuff like that. That's a bad bad stuff. I do, I would not want to be one of them. I would not want my home to, you know, to, to disappear in a fire, just like that. I would not want to do this. So, this is the story about this man, about his life. Yeah, he was he was helping here around already forever. For for you know what? For how long? For like for like twelve years at least. He would be coming to Slovenia and do. A seasonal work during the winter time uh, through the black market now the owner uh, mr. Barter now probably is gonna kill me but I think they will uh, look through the fingers this time on me in his case all right thanks for watching this video don't really have anything to add to this stuff if I will write down next to the video uh, till next time bye bye now Uh -huh. 
Sad vi regulirate gore temperature i to ne imate, ne bi bazar. A već je htio za sport. Do jedan je izbogno, pa da se je na vidu. No, pa da je za kuhe, ja pa pa naš, dole. Ja bom jaz pa šli skrat, no. Ne, 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 ne,
A ja sam mislio ovaj basen i ovo ovaj. Podsjećate me mnogo na, na čovjeka koji je bio. Ja. 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 A, ma ja sam granica s Hrvatskom. Ja. Aha. Ne znam. Ja to nije moguće. Tak, no, tak ne. A, više samo na mnogi s Hrvatskom. Samo je, no, lijepo je tamo, mislim. Bio sam tamo. Nije. A što sada živite ovdje ili ne. šta ćete se vratiti? Ne. Vraćat ćete tamo. Imate tamo e, familije. Problem je familija, pa to je sad problem. To je sad problem. Razum. Pa se mislim da ljudi tu pa je ta korona čuva. Sada korona zajebala. Pa, da. A, razumijem. A mi imate ovdje neku kuću, stan ovako? Da, od tog balkera, šta pa imate jedna kuća, pa tu ima nas tri. A, vi ste tri tamo, razumijem. Da. To mlaža, ne? Ja. ja. Pa taj posao, on već ima neki 22-23 godine. Mislim čak i 30. 30 godina. 30, 30 nema, ali tamo 20. 27. Pa radi je radi je 27. 27. 27. 23. Ajde, ono kao prvi u Sloveniji, ja to je oče je delao od 5.8. zašto ih zato delao? A, na radne peći. Na, ali to bilo one na ovaj. Ja, 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 tako. To je ovaj rad. Što je delao tako? Da, da. A vidi, što mi sad znao da je njegov otak. Da, da. Da. Pa dobro. Ja bi ja vas vidim ugodno ovaj. Ne bi bilo mjero i pa. Ako je što vredno. Ako je bilo što potrebno, molim vas. Ni problem. Samo zapitajte. Ma mi ljeta 2012 sam da kupi pasavi se, ne znam što je vjero da to stvara. Ja? Ma mi se, pa kak se to kupi? To to je što je vjero. Ti da pa najzve, ne znam. Ti da mi je tu za... No, pa najzve, to je to da pasavi se, ne znam što je vjero. Ti da mi je. Ja sam ne spominjem ne. 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 Ja sam ne spominjem ne.
ali onaj ko e, vaše, da, ali izvinite, ali onaj ko je, ko je vas uzusio ovo, zanapravo, koji je bio s vama ove 2012 godine, a zato, za, za, zato, za, a zato, zato, zato vas ja pamtim. Ne, ne, Vi izgledali kao moj susjed ovdje, ne, ne, koga ne, više nema. Vi ste bili, gospodin, ove 2012. godine, vas dva sad bilaš. Ima šanse, ma ne, ne. Pa ima šanse. Ja sam bio u Bosni. Milijon procena da ima šanse, jer ja, ja vas se sjećam. Dva dvanaest sam ja bio u Bosni, ja sam pričao koji je bilo. Pa ni, nema šanse. To je ona vaša teorija. Evo. Pa vaša teorija je. Pa nisam bio. Pa ima puno ovako što se radi, ali on izgleda ovako, on je tak. On je, ovo je, on je tak. A nisam ja bio u Bosni. od mene, sigurno radi tamo s vama, ovako izgleda, sa ovo. Evo se je kao ono djena i se na ujednog. Ovo ti je sinac, taj čovjek. Ne znam da je pukor. A njega, njega pamtim, on je, on je tak, tak bel pati ima ovaj, bijeli tak ovaj ima obraz i tak višim ovako. Ličimo možda, ličimo, ličimo, ličimo. A ne bi ja ono propustio ni... Ni milimetara ovdje, ja se sjećam sve što je bilo ovdje. Sve. Ajde, drugaru moj, puno ti hvala. A ti si bio ono, fantastičan si bio, ja, ja te se sjećam. Sve se sjećam, tamo, tamo s tim dečkima, tamo to, u tom domu. Još se mi kazao ovaj dom. Još si me ti imao tamo i kazao si me ovaj dom. Još ovo. Ti. Ti, sigurno. Evo, poradio se, poradio se neko vrijeme na Crnoku. Ajde, hvala. Pa zna šta, taj dom gdje ti jeste, ti momčino, taj dom, to ti je ovako, to ti je ovako, to ti je dom, a onda tamo nema ništa. I to ti je dom, nije veliki dom, to ti je tak, dao bi mu nekih deset puta deset ovako nešto, možda malo više. I znaš šta još mislim ja, da je to bio stari dom od Barherovi, evo još to mislim, je li tako? Evo. Pa gdje sam dobro to pogodio? Pa vidiš, pa kako nisi bio, prijatelj? Pa hvala Bogu i da ovako izgledaš li? Jer izgledaš kao moj susjed li? Koga više nema, jel? Pa on njega više nema. Međutim, njega više nema. Jer da se politički ljuposti je duže, mnogo duže. Ali bio odličan čovjek, taj čovjek je bio moj prijatelj, vrlo dobar. 